street alone, alone, alone. Her head was down, face locked onto the phone, phone. And I wished I had a number so I could be color unknown. And then I tell her to look into my eyes and never let it go. And welcome to another week vlog. Today it is Saturday, October the 26th. It is raining today and cold. It's getting colder and colder each and every day. And believe it or not, it's the end of October next week. Today it is Saturday, October the 26th. Tomorrow will be the 27th. Monday will be the 28th. And Thursday will be 31st, so it'll be Halloween. Like... It has gone so fast nowadays. It's like we were in July, August came, August ended, it started September, everyone started school, and now we're almost the end of October going into November and in like about a month and a half month and a half, two months, we're gonna be Christmas. Wow. Time certainly does go fast. Now I Saturday review on the Takis. The Outlaw Spicy Barbecue. So if you guys still haven't checked out that review, by the time you see this vlog, that review will be up. So I'll link that review in the description. And I'll actually link all of uh, this week's reviews in the description. So by the time you see this vlog, uh, a lot of reviews will be up. So check them out. Woke up around 9.30ish this morning. Had breakfast. We had turkey bacon, eggs, and hash browns for breakfast. I didn't have lunch because we did have somewhat of a late lunch as you can say and uh so i didn't really have lunch so right now it's about two ish i'm kind of hungry but i don't want to eat so much so what i'll do is i'll take my protein bar that i got in my sample source box which i'll show you guys uh, as soon as i get upstairs because i got my sample source box yesterday no it wasn't yesterday yeah, yesterday. Well, I'll show you guys what I got in it. Sugar, of course, after my breakfast, about two hours after my breakfast, and it was really good, 6.0, which is normal. You're supposed to be about below 7.8, I think, after two hours of eating, so I'm good. Back inside, and I'm gonna show you guys what I got in my sample source box. I feel like this one's a little bit, you know, smaller than the one I got uh, last year. They normally give them away through the fall and the spring and you have to rush like you have to get to their website and apply for these samples because they like they sell out quick and if you guys still haven't checked out sample source I'll leave a link to their Instagram in the description and their website I'm going to show you guys what's in this box I already know what's in here because I already opened it yesterday but I'm going to show you guys what I got this time in this sample source box. See, I got quite a bit of a samples. Let's start off right here. This is what I'm gonna have for a snack because I don't want to have something too heavy because we're gonna have supper in like two hours. So I'm gonna have this Atkins chocolate peanut butter protein bar. I'm not sure if you guys have ever had this, but uh, let me know in the comments section below if you guys have. I also got this new Carnation Simply Hot Chocolate. It's it's like their newest blend of hot chocolate and only five ingredients. That's what it says on the packaging. I also got this package of Persil Pro Clean, so a laundry detergent. Got this Nescafe Sweet and Creamy. You guys all know I've done a review on this one and I've gotten this before. So now I got more. I got the Mocha one and I also got the French vanilla one. So I had gotten these three before, but they also have a new flavor. They also have sweet and creamy caramel. So I'm really excited to try that. I also have this Tedley Super Herbal Tea Boost Vitality Vitamin B6, and it's new. So I'm definitely going to try that. And I also got another thing of toothpaste, Sensodyne rapid relief i had gotten this before and i really enjoyed it actually it really helped my teeth because uh, i do have sensitive teeth when it comes to eating cold foods and this definitely helps so i'm glad that i got another tube plus i got a whole bunch of these coupons some of them are not coupons there's this hot chocolate i was talking to you about the new in stores simply hot chocolate with only five ingredients 
I also got a coupon for these Atkins bars. I can also get some uh, shakes for, as far as what it says on the coupon. I got this coupon for the Silver Hills Sprouted Power Bread. I'm not sure where I can find this. I've never seen this bread in any of these stores that's in my area. But I'll definitely look out for this, seeing if there's any store that sells this. But if anyone can let me know if you guys have seen this bread in the comment section below. I also got this coupon for this cream of cauliflower. I really don't like any cream soups, so I might end up giving this to my uh, my grandma or someone that uh, loves cream of cauliflower soup. I also got this coupon for OxyClean Laundry. I think it's kind of neat, like this. So I got that coupon. And I also got some coupons for broth. So all of this I got as, as samples for this month. It all depends too how many samples you get every time. So last time I think I did get a lot more samples than this time. I think I had gotten like three or four more samples last time than I, what I got this time. So it all depends on how quick can you get to the website and take in the survey and then they just give you a list of samples that you can claim. So definitely I recommend, I mean, these are products that I would have never thought about trying until they had sent sent it to me. So when I did try them, I liked them, and I ended up going and get some more for myself. So, yeah, definitely sample source. All the information will also be in the description as always. So I'll uh, try this on the vlog for you guys. I'm not going to try this as a review. I'm just going to try this in the vlog. Got it open. So let's try this. It looks like there's dark chocolate, maybe. It smells good. It smells like a... A Reese's cup. I don't really like a lot of the textures of the protein bars. But this one actually tastes pretty good. Like a lot of times when I get protein bars sent in the sample source, I do try them. And I do end up not liking them because I don't like the texture. But this one, the Atkins one, wow, it's actually pretty good. I might want to use a coupon and get myself some more. Thing is, this only has two grams of sugar, 12 grams of fiber, and get this, 16 grams of protein. Why not? This tastes like exactly like a Reese's cup. Wow, I'm just blown away. I think I'm going to go. I think they sell them at Shoppers, so I'm going to use my coupon maybe tonight and then uh, see if there's any other kinds that I might like. So I might just try them in the vlog as well. So if you guys would like me to try protein bars, like different kinds of protein bars, and you guys want me to try your favorites, let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite, and I'll maybe go to the store and get them for you guys and try them for you guys on the vlog. Good morning, squad. How is everyone doing on this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday morning? Today it is October the 29th. Tomorrow's the 30th. And I just woke up about 20 minutes ago, and I'm, I'm, and I'm having a coffee, because you know, I need coffee right in the morning. So I'm having a coffee. Last night I went for a walk to Shoppers to get some mailing envelopes so I can mail you guys the t-shirts. That's what I needed coffee to wake me up. It's not Tim Hortons. It's next cafe. I went to Shoppers, like I said, went to get mailing envelopes. Uh, last night about, I would have to say about 8.30ish, power went out. And it was like a wide spread outage, like throughout the whole entire city. And it was pretty crazy. I'm like, it, but it didn't take long to get restored. It was like 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes later and it kind of got restored. So, thankfully for that. Integris, you guys are awesome for for handling this pretty good and getting it restored as quickly as possible. That's really awesome. So, after that went to Shoppers, at that time, Shoppers had put a sign in their, in their window saying they were closed because due to the power outage. But, uh, I thought I would just go to Tim Hortons, get a coffee, and then as soon as I got back, Shoppers was reopened. And there was like an hour left because they closed at like midnight. And this was like 
around 11-ish. I'm at Sobeys because we were out and about and I was getting kind of hungry. So I wanted to see if they have like chicken wings. You know, like Superstore, they like have like chicken wings you can buy and eat on the go. So I'm gonna see if Sobeys has anything similar to that, like that, so. Sobeys. Ooh, yeah. Mars bars. They're like Halloween candy, $6.99 for 50 Mars bars? That sounds good. Came back from Sobeys and I did end up uh, getting a meal deal. It was three tenders and a side of my choice and I chose some potato wedges. So originally I wanted to go in and get some chicken wings, but uh, I kind of changed my mind. And this meal deal was like $3.99 for potato wedges and three tenders. Like, wow, that's cheap, but it was so good. I ate it on my way, on the way uh, uh, home. I was, I was so hungry and it's so delicious. And I mean, like it felt like it was all baked. It, it's not, it doesn't taste like anything like deep fried. So. Instead of going to KFC, we got that, and it was way cheaper than if you were to go to KFC. So, I definitely highly recommend If you guys want some good food, like already cooked food, so you guys can just eat on the go, definitely go to Sobeys, because wow, it's, uh, the prices are like so incredible, and they're cheap, but it's so good, and you know, you're supporting a grocery store. People sell like slices of pizza, so I grabbed a this tray, that had two slices of pizza for $1.29, like $1.29 for two slices of pizza. And it was Hawaiian. I mean, I don't like pineapple on my pizza, but you know, I thought I would try that and see if it was any good. And wow, it was good too. So all the food that I've had so far, I was thinking about maybe doing a video, a review on the Sobeys food, already cooked food. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comment section below. You guys, my girlfriends, because I already ate mine and I'll show you what you get in this meal deal for like $3.99. I mean, it may not seem, it may seem like small, but if you were to lift this, this is, has some weight to it. So you open it, look at that. Look at all these wedges. And you get three tenders right here. It smells so good too. Good morning, squad. I hope everyone is having a fantastic Friday. Today is November the 1st the day after Halloween. Yesterday I didn't vlog, mainly because we were out and about most of the day and it was raining, so it wasn't really a great day for vlogging. So I just wanted to get my things done and uh, we went to Walmart, did a bit of shopping there, and uh, in the afternoon we watched Crown Jewel. It was actually pretty good. Uh, the only match that I didn't really like was Cain Velasquez and Brock Lesnar, but uh, every other match was pretty good. And <clears throat> later in the afternoon, it was like around 4.30, uh, it kind of stopped raining for a bit. So it kind of gave me an opportunity to do the papers, my flyers. So I did that. And then we head home and we started getting trick-or-treaters. So we went out uh, with the family doing trick-or-treating and uh, by the time we were done it was around eight o'clock we had pizza because I figured you know it's Halloween no one really wants to cook so I ordered pizza from original to pizza which I've actually mentioned about that before when I'm on like on a budget and I'm hungry for pizza I normally go to uh, original they always have great deals uh, the one I got was four medium pepperoni pizza it was like the party night special for like 33 bucks with tax. So yeah, yesterday was really great, uh, but I just didn't like the rain all day, but today is really nice. A little bit grayish, but in overall, it feels a lot nicer than yesterday. So this morning, I thought I'd wake up early, go to the store, I'd go to the store and get some Halloween candy. That's all on sale. So I got a lot of candy. It cost me $24, which it would have costed me $44 if I had bought it yesterday. So I'm gonna show you guys when I get home what I got. Back from doing newspapers, I didn't vlog as soon as I got home. I was gonna show you guys the chocolate that I got at Shoppers, but I'm gonna show you guys right now what I got. Two bags of these Reese's stuffed with 
pieces, so Reese's Pieces with Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and there's 30 of them, and they were like $3.49, I think, from original price being $4.99. I also got the big box of a chocolate. There's Macintosh, Crunch, and Rolo. This was $12.99, and it went down to $6.49, so a half price. I also got this box of 50 of m and Snickers, Twix, m and and Mars. This was $6.49 as well. So I, I got all of this for like $24. And I looked at my receipt and it did say that I saved $22. So this would have been $44, but I saved 20 bucks. So that's the best time you can get your chocolate is after Halloween. I'll be filming a review. I, like I said, I just came back from doing all my newspapers. I had three routes. Now I'm sweating. So I'm going to be filming a review for tomorrow, which is Saturday. Evening squad. Today it is November the 6th. It is Wednesday. The last time I had picked up the camera was November the 1st. It was the day after Halloween when I went to shoppers and got a whole bunch of candy. So that was the last time I had vlogged. I was going to upload the vlog on Monday, but I just thought, let's just keep on vlogging until at least a couple of more days. So that way it gives you guys a little bit more to watch throughout this week. And then I'll have it for you guys for next Monday. So the following Monday, which will be, I think the 11th, if I'm correct. Yep, the 11th. So when you see this vlog, it will be November 11th, but uh, I vlogged a bit the week of Halloween, and that was it. And today is the first time for this week I'm vlogging. So things aren't like they used to. I, I was able to vlog before every single day. It's just a lot, a lot of things has changed, and I've actually set up a survey for you guys to take. So if you guys can take a couple of minutes to take a... Just basically a feedback survey. I'll put that link in the description so you guys can check it out. A quick survey just to, um, I want some feedback from you guys, letting me know what I need to improve in the vlogs, what you guys like to see more. So it's just a opinion survey. So if you guys can do me a favor and do that survey, that'd be great. I really do appreciate it. Some I had vlogged I had mentioned was November the 1st. It was the day after Halloween and I, had gotten three routes of flyers done on that Friday because Wednesday and Thursday it was raining. It was raining majority of the day so I couldn't do anything so I had to catch up with all my flyers for that one day. So I had like one, two, three, four, four routes of papers to do under like a day. So it took me about Majority of the day, weekend, I hadn't really done much uh, beside my local newspapers. And on Sunday, I didn't really do much as well. I started to feel a bit off. Like, I think it's the flu season, you know, it's getting colder, so everyone's getting sick. So it's that time of the year where, you know, everyone's starting to not feel well. So I wanted to take a couple of days to kind of like, like get myself better. So that's why I'm starting to vlog today, and I'm like I'm vlogging very late. It's like 4:46 in the afternoon. I just started cooking dinner, and I still feel sluggish. I mean, I feel like I don't have energy. It's like I'm always tired. Today it is November the 7th. It's 9:52 in the morning, and I'm going to Tim Hortons because I want to try that new smoke sausage breakfast sandwich. I think I also want to try the wrap too, but I think we'll just stick to one thing at a time. So we're going to go to Tim Hortons and get our coffee. I've actually had coffee the pa for the past couple of days with just two cream, which isn't that bad. I mean, I love my double-double, don't get me wrong, but I've tried to like cut down on the sugar. So the medium two cream was, was actually pretty good. I was actually... Actually, it was quite more surprising than I thought. I thought it was going to be, like, gross. I don't like the taste of black coffee, so I figured I'd probably taste like that. But no, it actually tasted pretty good. So we're going to be heading to Tim Hortons, like I said, with our breakfast sandwich. So I want to bring it back home and review it for you guys because i got to put out a uh, food review today. And I'm going to be changing the times of my food review uploads. Normally they would have been uploaded by 8.30 a.m. 
but uh, I'm changing that time to possibly uh, 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon. That way it gives me all day to, you know, record a food review. Like, before what it did is I had to record the food review the night before so I can have it uploaded for you guys by the morning. So this way, if I change the time for the uh, afternoon, it gives me all day to film and edit, which editing a food review doesn't take that long either way. So that's why I figured what I'll do. I'm not sure if you guys all agree that would be great. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm always curious to hear your feedback. Of course, today we got our first snow fall. Not snowstorm, but snowfall. See, we got about a trace of snow, which is pretty good. I mean, as long as we get a little bit of snow, you know, just to cover the leaves, to make it seem like it's winter, but it's technically not. <laughs> We're still in like fall. People are playing their music. So, I'll see you guys at Tim Hortons. So, let's go. Afternoon, everyone. Today it is November the 8th. It is Friday. Finally, the weekend. And I am done my papers. All of my four routes, I am done. Yesterday I did two, and today I did two. So, it is time to relax for the weekend. I'm going to edit the vlog over the weekend and possibly start a new vlog for the following week. And I'm hoping everyone will enjoy watching the entire vlog. Or I should say, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching the entire vlog because I tried my best to film as much as I can. I know there's days that I didn't vlog, but as I mentioned before, it was just for the simple fact that I wasn't feeling the greatest and I just wanted to get myself, you know, better and up to speed with everything, you know, with, you know, everything that's going on. So, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. I'm probably going to be heading home, upload yesterday's review. I kind of explained everything on Instagram on what was going on. I was just busy all day yesterday that I didn't have time to upload the review, but you guys all understood, and today is the day that I'm gonna be uploading it. It's gonna be a live food review at Tim Hortons. So if you guys still haven't checked out that review, you'll see it uh, by the time this vlog is up. So link will be in the description. How is everyone doing today? Right now it's 1.13 p.m. in the afternoon on a Saturday, November the 9th. And I'm just waiting for my girlfriend. She just went to do newspapers. Uh, I did all my newspapers yesterday. And I started developing a blister on my foot. I've just been walking a lot lately. Yesterday, which was Friday... See, I'll show you guys the steps that I did. I did a lot of steps yesterday. I did 19,514 steps. So if I so if I did an extra 500 steps yesterday, it would have been over 20,000. So, but 
It's pretty good though, 19,000 steps in one day. And in total in one year, I did 3,400,000, 3, no, 3,034,591 in one year. That's quite a bit. So, as I said, today is Saturday, and I uploaded my review for Thursday yesterday, which was Friday, on the Tim Hortons smoked sausage breakfast sandwich, which I have to say, it was a pretty good. I mean, I was kind of like thinking to myself, it, it looked like a hot dog. At first, I was thinking to myself, what is this really going to make any difference? You know, having a sliced hot dog on a breakfast sandwich. But it actually was really good. It was a smoky, salty, savory sausage uh, on a breakfast sandwich. So like, the breakfast sandwich is already at Tim Hortons is already good. And now you're adding a smoky sausage on top of something that's already good. That makes it even better, you know, in my honest opinion. But as I said in the review, it's not as good as the just the regular you know, circular sausage. I'd rather that one over the smoky sausage, but my smoky sausage breakfast sandwich, that one was actually my second favorite. So, I'm not sure if you guys have tried it. If you guys have tried the Tim Hortons smoky sausage breakfast sandwich, let me know in the comment section below if you guys liked it. I'll say this this week, but I'll say it again today. If you guys can take a two minute survey, that I prepared for you guys. It's just basically a feedback survey because I want to know what can I improve and what do you guys like to see more in the vlogs, you know? Some things I can give you guys, some things I can't, but I'll try my best as to what you guys would like to see. So if you like to take that two minute survey, I'll put that link in the description as well. Today is November the 11th. And I'm gonna wrap the vlog for last week's vlog. And then I restarted today uh, for next week's vlog. So I'm gonna wrap the vlog right here for this one anyways. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the vlog. As always, if you guys did, you guys wanna see more vlogs like this one, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe as always. Don't forget to turn my post notification on so you never miss a vlog. All my links, my social media will be in the description. So do follow me as always on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for upcoming vlogs. So until next week, Peace out.